Celebrating the legacy of Dr. Major S. Kilal. On 14th November 1916, Dr. Major S. Kilal was born to Dr. Maya Das and Srimati Jeevan Devi in Ripon Hospital, Shimla. This was in pre partition Punjab. He was the second of seven children. At his birth, Dr. Major S. Kilal's father. A doctor himself was serving in the Punjab Provincial Health Services as civil surgeon in Shimla. Dr. Major S. Kilal was brought up in his ancestral house at 17 Bank Street, Rawalpindi and completed his schooling and then graduated with a BSc from Gordon College. He finished his medical studies at King Edward Medical College, Lahore in 1939. World War II was on. In 1940, like many of his classmates, he joined the British Indian Army in the Indian Medical Services, IMS, later known as the Indian Army Medical Corps, IAMC. He served as Regimental Medical Officer, RMO, with the famous 5x1 Gurkha Rifles Regiment, known the world over for its bravery. Captain Eskilal was in the same regiment as Captain Sam Manekshaw, who later became Field Marshal. They served together in Vana, South Waziristan, during the war. A large-hearted and generous man, Dr. Major Eskilal took on the mantle of the family patriarch after his father's death in 1935. At partition in 1947, he crossed the border with 31 dependents, including his mother, two sisters and their families, younger brothers and their families, and his daughter. Somehow, they all managed to reach India without harm to even a single member. After coming to Delhi, they stayed initially in Daryaganj, opposite the well-known Moti Mahal restaurant. Today, his extended family is spread all over the world. Its members cherish their days with him, for he managed to touch their lives in so many ways. 57 Hanuman Road, and uh, we used to stay there. There was one bedroom, one uh, drawing dining, and a little entrance porch was there. In the entrance porch, Daddy started his clinic with one gentleman, Bengali chap, Das Babu. He was a very down-to-earth person. When, even when he was coming up in life, did so well, yet he took care of everybody, all his relatives, his friends also. He never said no to anybody. He was always for them and take care of them. And even his staff, he used to take care of all the staff also, for the family people and for them also, whichever way they needed, in cash and kind, in every way. He was a real go-getter. Mr. Madan Mohanlal, being the youngest of the siblings, was like a son to Dr. Major S. Kelal. He has the fondest of memories and many interesting stories to tell us about his older brother. He was a father figure to me. My bonding with Dr. Lal was, I never used to call him Dr. Lal. <laughs> Papa Ji <laughs> used to call him. So he took care of almost everybody and guided them what kind of education they should have. And whenever he came from holiday, he used to take me to, I was very fond of steam engines. So he would take me to on a cycle. And then he told me, you now you watch all the steam engines and all the trains which are passing by. Our father before dying, he put on a diary for everybody what they have to do. So my name was put for engineering. And he was a very good player of hockey, UST player. And he actually was a contemporary of Tanchan, the famous hockey wizard. Dr. Major S. Kelal served in the British Indian Army for seven years from 1940 to 1947, including the Central Indian Military Hospital, CIMH, Vana, South Waziristan. He left the army as a major and came down to Delhi. 
He served in the Delhi Prevention Laboratory for two years but realized a civilian government job was not his cup of tea for he was meant to chart his own path. In April 1949, he started North India's first private pathology laboratory at 57 Hanuman Road, New Delhi. His first son Arvind was born in these premises in which Dr. Major S. Kelal both lived and worked. The laboratory was started with only three people. Dr. Major S. Kelal, Mr. B. Kedas, the lab technician and Mr. Mohanlal, the Safai Karamchari. So I was born and brought up on 57 Hanuman Road and the lab is as old as I am. Both were started by my father in 1949. And when I was growing up, I remember that I used to play with bunny rabbits instead of dogs and cats because that's what we had. And I couldn't figure out that why my father would kill the bunny rabbit, you know, with which I was playing after some time. And uh, I couldn't follow, but when I did medicine and I was uh, told about pregnancy tests, I later discovered that those were used for pregnancy testing of women. Most unfortunate part in my life was that my father and me, we never worked together even for a single day. So that would have been a very interesting thing that, uh, in uh, you know, my father would have taught me quite a few things like every father tries to teach his, you know, son and especially the elder one. So I missed out on that, but I could quite capture his spirit, you know, the spirit with which he used to do it. My uh, wife has taken my father's position because all these things are discussed. Edbir at home with my CEO, Dr. Om Manchanda. So basically, I, I don't miss, you know, that my father is not around. I feel that he is still around and his spirit is still with us. In 1949, Dr. Major Eskelal started providing pathology services under the name of Central Clinical Laboratory. He went for further studies to Cook County Hospital in Chicago, the United States. He was trained by world-renowned hepatopathologists Dr. Hans Popper and Dr. Schaffner. Coming back in 1956, he started a blood bank, which was the need of the hour. Today, Dr. Lal Path Labs boasts of 172 laboratories and over 1,600 collection centers across India. Apart from this, it collects blood samples from another 5,000 medical establishments, including major government as well as private hospitals, nursing homes, doctors' clinics and other laboratories. In 2015, Dr. Lal Path Labs tested over 1.24 crore patients and the daily workload averaged in excess of 50,000 patients. It has the biggest histopathology testing center in the world, wherein it tests more than 1,000 biopsies every day. It has second largest kidney biopsy center in the world and is the only facility in South Asia to have an electron microscope in a private laboratory. After serving the laboratory for 45 years, I resigned in 2003 just to join my family in New Zealand. I joined in 1958 and worked alongside late Dr. Lal. He was the first Indian pathologist to be appointed in a British hospital in Kohmari, now in Pakistan. I started my career as a lab assistant in 1968. और मुझे 48 इयर्स के आसपास मेरे को हो गए हैं यहाँ पे काम करते हुए। उस टाइम हमारी लैब का नाम सेंट्रल क्रिनिकल लैबोरेटरी हुआ करती थी। जब वो घर जाते थे तो वो पूछते थे कि तुम गए नहीं अभी मैंने कहा नहीं अभी थोड़ा काम बाकी है। उस टाइम वो डॉक्टर हमारे जोरबाग में रहते थे तो हम लो और मैंने मेजर साहब के साथ दो साल काम किया। I was the only girl and I was 19 years old when I joined। यही लगता था मुझे कि मेरा घर जैसा है, मेरा परिवार है। मुझे कभी ये फील ही नहीं आई कि मैं इस जगह को छोड़के कहीं और ज्वाइन करूं। 
from collecting blood samples of presidents and prime ministers to film celebrities. They share their interesting interaction and enriching relationship with Dr. Major Eskelal. I would uh, especially like to thank my father for this uh, spirit of entrepreneurship which he had and which he has passed on to me. And uh, there was uh, no stone which he left unturned in setting up this lab and getting himself trained and inducing new tests and creating a, a huge laboratory from those days uh, point of view. And the same thing he uh, inculcated in me. So I never looked back, whatever the new test was, whatever the new instrumentation, the first auto analyzer, the first radio immunoassay test in thyroid, etc., etc., the first HIV test. So I think the father and son were both, you know, alike. And uh, that is the spirit with which we have continued. Today, Dr. Lal Path Labs is the biggest pathology practice in India, where quality service and innovation is a non-negotiable commitment. It employs over 4,500 people along with a team of qualified pathologists, radiologists, microbiologists, biochemists and other specialists. The early pioneers made sod houses, where no wood could be found at hand. You may hear about all of their hardship, but not all of course were just farmers, for they came here from all walks of life. They experienced their full share of strife. Now to those pioneers yet remaining, our respect, admiration we give. May your courage, your strength and your spirit in generations to come ever live. Dr. Major S. K. Lal was that pioneer who came before us in search of a better life, who overcame many trials and tribulations to build a better future. The seed that was sown by him 67 years ago has grown into a huge tree, providing a protective shadow to and nurturing countless people who come to it. Being the front runner in the field of pathology, Dr. Lal Path Labs has an international footprint. It collects samples every day from neighboring countries like Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh, and locations further away such as the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Nigeria, Kenya and Malaysia. In December 2015, Dr. Lal Path Labs had one of the most successful IPOs in the past five years. The company is now poised to offer its high quality and affordable services to the rest of the Indian population in Tier 3 and Tier 4 towns. Honorary Brigadier Dr. Arvind Lal was given the Entrepreneur of the Year Award by the All India Management Association, AIMA, in the year 2016. I would like to thank everybody who has been connected with this centenary celebrations. My entire staff, especially uh, Dr. Oman Chanda, CEO, and uh, my wife, Dr. Vandana Lal, and everybody else. And I would like to reiterate that we are the number one lab in India, and we shall always be number one. Thank you.